Welcome back, everybody. Brazilian jiu-jitsu has gained popularity as mixed martial arts became more mainstream. There are classes for people who want to study it as a discipline or to train for a competition, but it's also a great way to ease stress, gain self-confidence, and lose some weight. And kids can enjoy it, too, just for fun. From Gracie, is it Gracie Baja? Gracie Baja. It looks like Barra, but it's Baja, it looks like right? Barra, okay, jiu-jitsu in Seattle. Thank you very much. Please welcome Greg Jones. How are you doing? Good, good. Excellent. Thank Thank All for, right. Thanks for having us. I am so happy to. We've been doing a lot of these segments called Get Fit and exposing people and ourselves to different ways of getting fit. So what is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a martial art and a martial art that teaches you to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. It was made for a smaller person to be able to defend themselves against larger attackers. So our tagline is Jiu-Jitsu for everyone. And what that means is we have people training as young as three years old all the way into their 60s and 70s. Wow. Yeah. So we're looking at some children doing this now. What right. would you say kids get out of this? So kids get self-confidence, self-esteem. They learn how to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. They, they learn feel how a little to... more confident in the world, even though right. they're small. Right. There's a socializing aspect, so they do it with their friends. Mm -hmm. But they also learn in uh, bullying situations how to deal with conflict and how to avoid conflict and and. And that, so and it's women really, find this very useful as well. Women correct? find it very useful as well because it was formed. Elio Gracie was like 140 pounds, and he was taking on bigger fighters, mm -hmm. and he needed to learn something to be able to use leverage to be able to win fights. So it's very applicable for females. Bruce Lee did that too. Exactly. Sm smaller person using the bigger person's force against them. Okay, right. I'm going to step out okay. and you're going to do a demo that just tells us a little bit about what the training about the looks like. Right. So carry on. Let's okay. hit the music. I hope it's so something salsa. So we've got salsa. Coach Amy <laughs> Montenegro and Professor Hi. Casey Stentz. Hello. And we're going to be showing some of the exercises that we do. We're going to do 10 of each. Okay. And the first 10 are going to be hip escapes. So the hips are the beginning of everything we do in jiu-jitsu, moving your hips. Uh, go ahead and start, guys. So what is this that we're seeing? So this is an escape maneuver, and it's also learning how to move. So if somebody's on top of you or if you need to make space, this is how you're going to do it. Okay. And obviously you're using your legs, your core, right. your arms, everything. So. It's, it's an, they call it an escape because you're escaping from somebody that's you know on top of you. Okay, or, yeah. very good. Right. So the second one is going to be a bridge, and uh, let's do ten of those. And so this movement is used also to escape, but also to create space. So if somebody's in a mounted position on top of you, what this is going to do is allow you to make some space to get them off of you or to get out of the way. It also, you also can flip a person around and then be in their guard rather than having them on top of you. So. Which you just don't want. Right. Okay, right. so that's very interesting. The third, the third one is going to be a triangle, and this is actually a submission. So this, you can actually, you know, uh, submit somebody with this technique. But it's also a core exercise as well. So midline stabilization is going to work your core. It's going to work your entire uh, body, legs, neck, upper back and they're going to do 10, they're going to switch from side to side. So t explain how I would use this so, so basically, in what, my next fight. Yeah, so <laughs> they're going to be trapping somebody's head and one arm oh. in that triangle. Oh. And then what they're doing is they're cutting off the blood supply from the carotid arteries. Wow. And be able to actually put somebody to sleep in about five seconds. No supply. way. Yeah. All right, I, I, I mean this in the nicest way. That's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So coming out, we're going to talk about self-defense now and how girls as well as, as women can remove themselves from harm's way. So what, what shall we see here? So, go ahead, Professor. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm Professor Rodrigo at Gracie Barra Seattle. I'm the head instructor. And uh, what I'm going to show you guys here now, it's a good example how uh, a smaller person can apply leverage and balance to deal with a much bigger uh, aggressor, okay? So we're gonna go over a couple techniques here. First, uh, I'm gonna have Coach Amy standing right here, and then uh, Professor Casey, which will be the aggressor, is gonna try to choke her from behind. So the first step here would be, she's gonna try first control the arm in a way that she can prevent the choke from going deeper. The second step here, she's gonna 
using leverage and balance, she's going to create a, 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 a space, a momentum, that she's going to be able to invert the situation here. Right now, what she's doing, using all the leverage, applying pressure on the shoulder, so she can control him on a way that uh, depends, you know, what the, the, the situation is going to require. Right here, uh, mainly in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, we don't use strikes. We try to avoid damage. That's actually the, the philosophy behind Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. When most of the other martial arts want to apply, want to inflict damage, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu goes the opposite. We just want to uh, be able to maybe mobilize the person once you maybe we can get a help or we can just run away. So right here, maybe the situation requires an extreme measure so she can throw a knee. Oh. Uh, that would definitely cause a lot of damage. That would also, give you a moment to run away at that point. That would be the perfect time. Yeah. Also, if she wants to be maybe nicer, she can just, I wouldn't say nicer because of the next move, she's <laughs> going to put it in actually unconscious, mm -hmm. which is she will apply a choke, which we call guillotine choke. Okay? Uh, the last option here. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, do your quick last option. The last option will be putting him down on his back, which uh, using the leverage, she's going to drag him all the way down, and now she can also apply an arm bar submission, or she can just run. Wow. Depends. Okay, or she can just take him out completely with that last move. Looked or like. wait Thank for you. the help. <laughs> Thank you all very much. So tell us uh, about your anti-bullying uh, class and campaign uh, for you. Um, we do offer anti-bullying uh, programs uh, usually three times a year, okay? Uh, our anti-bullying programs are great tools for kids to develop their self-confidence, self-esteem, sure. and be able to learn for the, you know, the daily disappointments that life can throw at them. Uh, but uh, we also, at our kids' program, we... Uh, on top of teaching the, the techniques, we daily uh, talk about, you know, how they should, you know, deal with uh, bullying at school, how they should, you know, always uh, talk to, you know, to people about it. So it's comprehensive. You know, and exactly, it's exactly. Thank you so much. Please visit our website for more information about scheduling a free class or how to get a free month of adult or youth training in February. Coming up next, the best ways to keep important gear weatherproof and a few easy steps. We'll be back with that. Thank you so much.